Oh, Tracy, fein, dass du schon da bist. Ja, spring. Oh. I was hoping that I get to talk to you maybe for a minute. About what? Well, it's very personal. Um, you know. Maybe I ought to speak to your parents. I can't. Can I just talk to you for one minute? Jody, you know, it's my summer vacation, too. And I don't feel it's my place to advise you on any kind of personal matter. So if you excuse me, please. But Mr. Horan! Some virgins let themselves get overdue. They've reached that point in their lives when they know they want to experience the pleasures of the flesh, but they can't find the right person or the right place to do it. Inside, they're boiling, fervently, wishing to let loose. Why don't you girls just loosen up? You know it's going to be four hours of TV and homemade popcorn. Well, I've got four dates this weekend, and I have to dump two. Why are you getting tired, Connie? <laughs> That's supposed to me. Just because she's popular with boys. Being popular is one thing, but being populated is quite another. <laughs> yeah. Everybody knows you've got a crush on the teach. Yeah. I do not have a crush on the man. Oh, I admire on. him. I respect <laughs> him. <laughs> and you, you want his body. Yeah, really. Hi. Oh, God, he noticed me. Who's he? Mr. Warren, sex ed teacher. Big deal. When does he have that 50 other guys don't have? Are you kidding? Think of all the things he knows that he can't talk about in class. Think of his knowledge and skill. So try with someone your own age, Jody. Well, I think I'll see you girls later, maybe. Jody, what are you doing? How did you find out where I live? I followed you. Well, you can follow yourself back out. I only want to talk to you. Mm. I just want to talk, Miss Ray. Come on. Okay, what's this all about? It's about boys. Okay, if it'll help, I'll listen. But make it quick. I have to get ready. I have a date. I can help you coordinate. Well, that's all right. I can do it myself. Thank you. Well, tell me about this problem. I'm a virgin. There's nothing wrong with that. But I don't think boys like me. Is there something the matter with me? Not that I can see. But every time I get a boyfriend, they break up with me and go with another girl. And I don't know why. Well... Huh. You know, it's uh, not unusual at your age to experiment with different uh, relationships. Kids go through this all the time. It's not just you. Are you sure? Quite. Then it's not my face? No, you have a very attractive face. Then... Gil told me something was wrong. Randy, talk to me. There's nothing to talk about. I don't belong here. It's as simple as that. Are you going home? Hardly. I don't think Dad would exactly understand this being his fraternity and all. Dad doesn't understand much of anything anyway. Guess we finally got something in common, huh? No, we've always had something in common. Like what? Our desires. Just because you hide yours doesn't mean you don't have them. And I can help you, Randy. How? Teach you how to relax and be comfortable with girls. I can teach you how to be yourself. Don't you want to learn that? Yeah. Why are you talking like this? Because I care. Dance with me. Why? Come on, just dance with me. Relax and be yourself. This is stupid. Come on, just give it a chance, Randy.
I want you to touch me. Uh, that was great, Barbara. I mean, Susie. Thanks. <laughs> why, why are you so sure about calling me Susie, though? It's my good luck name. I trust you. But... Trust me. Look, I'd like to show you the rest of the boat downstairs through the cabin. Can you see? Watch your steps. <laughs> Some sailor you are. God, this boat is so beautiful. CW, I'm really impressed. And just to think, you got all this from rock and roll. That's right, Susie. I'm gonna have to get used to that name. Well, I better have time to do that. That's just a figure of speech. We'll make a music video off the best single. Also have you sketch. You are pretty. This boat is romantic, huh? You feel that way? Yeah. 